Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Shada Shara. Today's session, we are going to learn how to connect the database using properties file in JDBC. While creating a JDBC application, we are directly hard coded the connection properties in an application. It, it has the following problems. If you see here, while creating a JDBC application, we are giving directly hard coded values. Means here we are giving you a driver URL, here driver uh, driver uh, class name, driver URL, username and password. All these things are we are giving hard coded things. But whenever we are giving hard coded things, it gives the some problems uh, in the future. When we want to change the driver uh, in an application, then we need to reopen the Java code and then we need to modify the code. When we do changes in a Java code, then we need to recompile, then we need to reload application into the server. In the same time, we need to restart the server. If you want to change from one database to another database, uh, if you want to change the one database to another, then again we need to do the above things means we need to open the java files and we need to uh, modify the code and we need to recompile and uh, redeploy into the server to overcome the above problems we got the properties file usage in the jdbc programming if you want to reduce this all these problems we can use the JD, uh, we can use the properties file in the java programming a properties files is a text file which contains a data in the key is equal to value pair format this file uh, can be stored with a uh, with extension dot properties a property file is a text file which contains a data in key is equal to value pair format this file can be stored with the extension dot properties a java program reads the values of a properties file using associated key at a runtime so a java program will became will become as a independent of a database and independent of the driver if you maintain the properties file, uh, if a Java program reads the values of a properties file using associated key at runtime, so a Java program will becomes as a independent of a database and independent of the driver. In a Java program, we need the following two objects to read the read and store the properties file. There is a file input stream class object to read the properties file. To we need to we need a properties class object for storing the key is equal to value pairs of the properties file after storing the properties file data into the properties class object then we can read one by one value by calling the get property method if you calling the get property method it gives the particular value of that property now i can show how the properties file will work with the practically programming in the JDBC code. See here, I'm creating a one sample program that is the properties files JDBC example. In this file, I'm reading the properties file by using file input stream. I'm reading the file by using the file input stream. In this file input stream, I am reading the properties file after that properties file properties pro i am creating an object of properties class now i am loading that file into the properties class properties object dot load of fis whatever we are reading in the properties file i am giving it into the properties class object properties dot load of client now i am getting the properties uh, i am getting the database uh, details from that properties by using get property method now props dot get property method i am calling i am giving the key if you are giving the key the corresponding value will be uh, written it into the return and it will be stored it written the string now i am reading props dot get property i am giving the key key to i am giving the props dot get property i am using the get get dot pro uh, property object dot get property it returns the particular uh, corresponding value of that key now i am loading the driver class name after that i am creating the connection after that i am 
creating the connection after that i'm creating the statement object i'm doing the operation on the database finally i'm closing the all the connections see here i'm created the connection dot properties connection info dot properties here whatever the database details i am putting here see here this is the driver class name this is the url of the driver and this is the username and the, this is the password all the information i am put it into the properties file whenever we are changing is required just we will come into the properties file and changing the uh, whatever we want to change the properties just change it here we no need to recompile the code java code and no need to redeploy the application and no no need to restart our application now this connection info properties file i am reading it into the my java code by using the file input stream object i am creating a properties for class object and give it into the file input stream into the properties class and i am reading whatever the properties in the properties file i am reading that properties file i am opening the loading the driver class name and uh, opening the connections and uh, whatever i am i need the operations i am doing that operations finally i am closing the all the operations because of this properties file we no need to because of this properties file we no need to recompile or redeploy our code into the database thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.